guys i have been talking about gtt for a very long time now and so far we've only been talking about the gtt orders in the zeroda account but just now i have figured out how to set the gtt in angel 1 as well so i'm going to show you how to do that so on my screen you can see an angel 1 account in which i want to set the stop loss gtt order that is the good till trigger order for reliance i have 220 quantities of reliance as you can see here now what i'm going to do is because i already hold the stock i want to set up a sell gtt order so i'm going to click on sell click on stop loss because i want to set the stop loss i'm going to change the product type to dl which stands for delivery because this is a long or rather medium term position or rather it is not an intraday position so i select delivery the quantity has been automatically fed which is awesome now i need to set the trigger price basis my chart analysis i can see that i want to set the stop loss at say 2723 so i'm going to set my trigger price at 2723 which automatically inputs the stop loss limit price now remember you can also have market price as the stop loss but i wish to keep it at limit price and this limit price i want to be almost almost similar to my trigger price so i'm going to set it at slightly few points lower than my trigger price that is 2722.5 okay that's like 50 paisa lower and all i have to do is click on place sell order let's see what happens i got get a confirmation on my screen that the order has been placed and i need to check that now so i'm going to go to orders go to gtt and this is where it should be if it has been set but i don't see it let's try again stop loss delivery 220 2723 and change this to 2722.5 and then place sell order and that was rejected which makes sense um okay so it did not go under gtt for some reason in fact it came under open order so this looks like a sell order for uh, which is okay so action order type so this is sell delivery stop loss for 220 shares the ltp of which is 2849 and the order price is 2723 so this has been set up now so if you have an angel one account this is how you should go forward with setting your gtt for all your active positions the advantage of setting a gtt for your holdings is that if the market starts to turn against you then whatever unrealized profits you have will get protected your position will automatically get exited and depending on your holding period or your horizon you can have different stop loss orders for instance in reliance what i just showed you was the stop loss order which i came up after analysis on the 75 minute time frame because i want to hold this stock for a rather longish period my original target on this was around 2700 which has actually been achieved but i don't want to exit it just yet because there is strong momentum what i will do is i will keep trailing it with a stop loss now the stock is already making new highs and if this low of 2795 sustains and the stock is successful in breaking above 26 2861 that is when i will go forward and update my stop loss to the new low of 2795 maybe but until then i'm going to hold on to the stop loss at this level so managing your positions is actually the secret to ensuring that you make good profits consistently in your stock portfolio if you do not know chart analysis trend line drawings studying momentum indicators and so on and so forth don't worry about it you can simply go to this website which i'm showing you so this is the link that you have to open exp invest dot in slash stock hyphen query. When you click on this link, you will be redirected to a, a Razorpay page where you have to enter your name, your email ID, your phone number, 
and simply select the number of stocks which you would like this analysis for. If you have a portfolio of 12 stocks, you can simply select the bundle. If you have more than or less than 12 stocks, select the remainders through this individual stock analysis and then send me the name of your stocks send me the entry price and the quantity you're holding and i will give you actionable advice on how you should go forward with managing your stocks okay so that's that for today i hope you found this useful